Okay, welcome back. This is part four of E lecture three. Now there are two parts made together, part A and B, and it contacts over here. The challenge is to find the gap X and the gap Y. Now let me just try it on gap X, just X only. No, to get to gap X, we must first have a proper start point. So for the gap, the start point will always be here. Always start at the low end of the gap or if it's a horizontal dimension, start it from the left towards the right. From the left towards the right. Yeah? So if I start from there, I will translate this point onto part A. This is where I'm going to start. When I start from here, I will go along the dimension. Objective is to get to contact point. See, from A to B, this is the place that you can get to. Lah. So I need to get to B. So from A, I need to get to B. So the dimension I is able to get to is... Let me just highlight here. The contact point is here. I need to get to there. So the two dimensions involved are basically this dimension and this dimension. Now, for the first dimension here, it is going down. And then for this dimension, it's going up. When it goes down, it is negative. When it goes up, it is positive. Now, I'm able to get to part B. Because this contact point is equivalent to here. Now, from part B, I need to get to the gap. The, the gap here, which is here. And there is only one dimension involved. The dimension is this dimension. And the direction is up. Which means that this is going to be positive. So basically, three dimensions are involved. The first dimension is here. Second dimension and finally, this is the third dimension. The rest of the dimensions are redundant. I'm going to cross it out. This is not used in this analysis. And this is also not used in this analysis. So let's work on the analysis now. I just want to put back the key, uh, key parameter here. This dimension is involved. This is the second dimension. And this is the third dimension. This first dimension should be negative. Second dimension is positive. And third dimension is also positive. These are the three parameters. These are the key parameters you gather from the earlier uh, earlier diagram. So now let's do the analysis part. First, we need to draw the table. So let me draw the heading line. And then the lower line for the dimension. One dimension. I move down. Second dimension. The third dimension. And that's about it. Lah. I'm going to draw the column here. This is the part. Oh, sorry. Part is here. So I need an additional line here. Lah. This is, we bound to make mistake 
along the way. Yeah? And this one, we took the dimension to part A, part A, and part B. What are the dimensions? So for part A, we have 60.05 For the other one, we got 21 plus and minus 0 0.2 And the third dimension involved is 42 plus 0 minus 0 0.16 Now, using the method that we have earlier, we need to normalize it. And what do I get from here is this value I will have 59.95 plus and minus 0 0.1. Second value is similar, no need to do anything, plus and minus 0 0.2 because it's already normalized. It's bilateral equal tolerance, so can just bring over. This one will be 41.92 plus and minus 0 0.08. And from here now, I need to put in the sign. So the first dimension is going to be negative. Second dimension is going to be positive. And the third dimension is also positive. So from here, I can calculate the value. So the value here is 2.97 plus and minus 0 0.3. Now the key thing is that uh, in case you did not follow earlier how do we get the value, I'll just put it here. This number we get it from 21 plus 41.92 subtract 59.95 and how do I get this value? This value is 0 0.1 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.08 so for the tolerance we just add that all up now how do I get this value this value is 60.05 plus 59.85 divide by 2 and obviously how do I get this point 0.1 point 0.1 will be 60.05 subtract 59.85 divide by 2 that brings me to the end of this part thank you